welcome back to my channel guys thank you so much for subscribing if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for stay tuned so guys today i'm gonna make gungo rice and peas i just want to thank you all for my old supporters thank you so much for always tuning in watching my videos i really appreciate it and thank you so much for the new ones guys don't forget to give this video a like remember to share it and subscribe if you haven't subscribed okay so this is my google they call it um pigeon peas it's the next name for it so i'm just going to open this now we're going to pour all of it in the bowl because we need to look like if there is anything inside like any rocks or anything like that like a piece of stone or something like any one of them you have to look for that so this is the dry one and so you have the green one as well so this is the dry gungo piece so you just search around in it to see if you find anything in there that's not supposed to be in there all right So guys, you don't want to soak your um, gungo piece for too long. So what you can do, you can soak it overnight for like six to ten hours, or you can do that in the for six hours in the in the day if you can prepare it the same day. Or best to do it overnight, six to ten hours, as I said. And you want to keep the beans covered with water, yeah. And then you just use like a plastic wrap to cover it, and then you put it to soak, right? So while it's soaking your beans, you don't want it to be soaked um, longer than 12 hours. So if it even go over the 10 hours, you don't want it to go longer than 12 hours. The reason for that, it can absorb too much water and then it will lose, you know, the texture and the flavor. So you don't want to soak it that long, guys. All right? So I search it. I didn't find anything. All right, so we're just going to give them a wash and then we put it to soak, all right? Okay guys, so I'm just gonna wash um, the gungo piece off. Just gonna give it a rinse. Guys, comment down below and let me know what you have your gungo recipes with. I love mine with anything curry. Yeah. So you comment down below and let me know what you love to have your gungo rice and peas with. This is a well requested video guys. I have a couple people that asked me to make this. And of course I'll do it for my supporters and my viewers. So I normally just wash it off three times, alright? Put my soak it with garlic. Like that. Then I'm gonna put um, some water in it. So it's just start the soaking process. So guys, you want to make sure all the, the beans are covered, see? All right. Okay guys, so I have four garlic cloves. So I'm just gonna add that. I'm just gonna put them inside. Just, just crush them out a bit. I'm gonna add the rest. So I'm going to soak this for, say, seven hours. 
because it's the same day I'm gonna use it so as I said you can do it overnight but this is gonna use on the same day and that's fine as well all right so this is gonna just soak for seven hours and I'm just gonna give that a cover I'm just gonna cover that Like so, and I'll be back to show you how I prepare my gungo rice and peas. So, guys, as I said before, make sure it's the beans are covered with water. All right, so water should be over the beans. Okay, guys, you can leave this on your kitchen counter, or you can just leave it in your fridge, whichever one you prefer. All right, and I'll be back to show you how I prepare it. Okay, guys, so I have my gungo peas here so I'm just gonna see not as hard as before because it's been soaked all right so I'm just gonna I have like a cup of water there I'm gonna add it to the pot for it to boil this will take like 20 to 30 minutes to boil because we soaked it so I get a little softer and it will take like 20 minutes to boil and the process of making this is just similar like how you make rice on peas. All right. So I'm going to cover it and allow it to boil. My stove is on medium and I'll be back. Okay, guys, now I'm going to check the gungo to see if it's cooked. This is very hot. Did turn the stove down so i need to check to see if it's cooked it's hot guys okay so that's cooked all right so it's not so soft remember now we're going to put the coconut milk in and we still, the rice still gonna cook as well so it will cook a little more as well so i have my coconut powder here i'm using i'm using the grace coconut powder you can use a natural coconut or the can one that's what I have at the moment so that's what I'm going to use and I'm going to use the same water from the peas pour in and I'm using two packs of coconut milk guys because as you can see this is a lot of rice that I will be making so I'm using two packs And I use the warm water, so I'm just going to use a spoon to just mix that around and then I'll add it in. So I'm just going to add it into the pot. Everything into the pot like that. And now I'm going to season my pot for my rice. I'm going to go ahead and just store that in like that and then had my season to the pot so I have skeleton here I'm just gonna cut that up and I have a scotch bonnet pepper I have a piece of onion have two pieces of sweet pepper and some thyme. I'm gonna have that in. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my season in. So this give it nice flavors, guys. Very nice flavor. Scotch bonnet pepper. We need that. And we're just gonna add it in. And I also have some crushed pimento. I'm gonna have that as well. It's like eight seeds of pimento. Go ahead. And then we're just gonna mix everything around. Like that. 
And I'm going to add a little bit of Maggi seasoning, just a little bit of the Maggi all purpose. Not a lot, just a little bit. Make a one teaspoon of it. I'm going to add in there. I'm not going to add any salt because that's our salt, guys. But if you want to go ahead and add your salt, you can do that. But I won't be adding any salt to this. I'm going to go ahead and add a little butter to it and allow it to boil. for 10 minutes and then we had our rice in. Just add a little piece of butter. I don't need a lot of butter. This smells really good. And then we're going to give it a cover. So guys, this can, after you season your pot, you can taste it to see if it wants anything in there anything else if you need a little more if you use the salt if you need a little more salt a little more maggie which i don't think it needs it but you go ahead and taste your pot and cover so i'm going to cover and the back okay guys i have my rice here i'm going to give it a wash so i normally wash it three times all right You can just rub it together. I'll just wash it off. Just make sure the process of washing it one time. And we do that three times, alright? Okay, guys, so after I wash the rice, what I do more, uh, most times, I'll get a strainer. And I will just remove the excess water from the rice like that because you don't want this water to get into the pot that you're going to put your rice in, right? Because if that water gets into the pot, you know, the flavor not going to be the same and you need to add a little more salt or seasoning or whatever the case may be to the pot, right? So you strain off all the water like that, right? And you just put it back in the container and then you'll you know wash the rice if you need to wash two more time you wash it and then it's do the process again strain it and then you put it in the little pot so see no water is in there like that not a lot of water because i know many of you may experience that when you wash your rice water is settled at the bottom or so in this case it won't settle there all right so i'm just gonna wash it two more time and then i'll be back to put it into the pot you guys know I'm gonna add my rice into the pot. That smells so good. You guys should have been here to smell this. And it tastes wonderful as well because I did go ahead and taste it. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna add my rice now to the pot. So there's no water coming down with the rice. See that guys? So that's what we want. I'm just gonna take everything out. Good. I'm just gonna use a spoon and just give it a stir like that. Just a stir like that. And then we're going to cover the pot. And I'll be back to show you the finishing touch. Okay guys, that's the end of my gunga rice and bean. So I'm just gonna plate some right here with some curry goat. Right there like that. Look how beautiful this look. Beautiful guys. 
Very nice. Look at that. Look how pretty this will look. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm going to add some curry goat as well to the plate because I love my gungu rice. And these with some curry goat to the side like that. Look at that. Gonna get another piece. Look at that. Look how beautiful this looks. Lovely. Thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share, and let me know in the comment section what you like to see how I prepare next. Don't forget to hit that good old notification bell so you'll be one of the first person to be notified when I upload another video. Bye for now.